Hello, it's very good to be back with you once again for this new school year. Sadly, not yet visiting you in St John's, but recording this in my own church, St Mary's Harrow on the Hill. Today, we're going to hear one of Jesus's best known parables, the Good Samaritan. And I'm going to begin by reading it to you. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? The lawyer answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. And Jesus said to him, You have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, the lawyer asked Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him and beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So, likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while travelling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged up his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own beast, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and when I come back I will repay you whatever you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The lawyer said, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Here at St Mary's we have got a stained glass window which tells the story of the Good Samaritan. I'm going to try and show it to you now without causing too much uh, difficulty to the film. The problem is that because the light is behind it, it will change the light shining on me. So just for a moment, I will uh, disappear into darkness. But behind me, where I am standing, you will see that window and gradually it is coming into focus, I hope. Let's see if I can do it in such a way that it... Um, I think we can... We'll, we'll get there eventually. There we are. It's just behind me there. And in the central panel, you can see the man who has fallen amongst the robbers and um, the Good Samaritan tending him. And then in the... Uh, window on the uh, left you will see the man being lifted up onto the donkey and then the window on the right uh, the man uh, being cared for by the good Samaritan. If you happen to be up on Harrow Hill do come into St Mary's and have a look at the window. It's in our south transept our Anselm Chapel. I'm going to move the camera back now so that uh, you can see me a bit more easily, but uh, behind me uh, the window will remain, but not quite in the shot of the camera. As I have said, this is one of Jesus's most well-known parables and it has lots of messages for us. Jesus, as we heard, tells the parable in response 
to the question, who is my neighbour? The priest and the Levite, who would have served in the temple in Jerusalem, clearly didn't think the man who had been beaten up was a neighbour of theirs, and they ignored him, passing by on the other side. In fact, they were fearful that they would be made unclean by him. On the other hand, the Samaritan came from, the part of the from a part of the country which many people in Jerusalem thought was bad. The people of Jerusalem didn't like Samaritans. Can you think of anybody or a group of people we sometimes claim to be bad? In fact, a group of people we claim are all bad. Yet, it was the Samaritan, the one everybody thought was bad, who saw the beaten up man as a neighbour, a fellow human being, someone who needed help. He has compassion on him. The word compassion means to suffer with. To show compassion is to respond to another person in trouble to help another person because you feel their own suffering and you want to put it right. Can you think of a time when you have shown compassion to someone or when someone has shown compassion to you? The Bible tells us that Jesus often shows compassion to others. He acted to put things right particularly things that left people excluded or caused them suffering. As Christians, we believe that God is in Jesus, showing compassion to the world. That is why Jesus was born, to show God's compassion for the whole world, to put right the things that are clearly wrong in the world. And he challenges us to be part of that challenges us to show compassion, look out for each other, help those who need it, whoever they are, just because every other human being is my neighbour. God shows compassion for the world in Jesus. He calls us to show compassion for each other. And so let us finish this short reflect reflection on the parable of the Good Samaritan with a prayer in which we ask for God's help to be ourselves good Samaritans to each other. And as I say the prayer, I'm going to show the window once again behind me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the example of the Good Samaritan. Help us to show compassion to one another, to look out for those in need, and with your grace to hold out hands of friendship and love wherever they may be needed. And in so doing, to show the compassion of our Lord Jesus Christ for the whole world. And this we ask in his name. Amen. Well, I'm sorry, the light got in the way again then, but um, hopefully you saw something of the window and most importantly, you will have heard the message of the parable and we have plenty to go away and think about and to practice in our own lives, to be compassionate people. I'm very much looking forward to coming to see you in St John's very soon, but for the time being, I wish you well again. God bless and see you again, I hope, very soon.